Hello my dear beautiful bastards and welcome back to the Solus project. Here we are in this cave with our dead friend right here, but I have to read stuff. I have not read stuff. Oh look at these magic mushrooms from Duro's farm. But anyway, I think that I should probably read some of these things. So let's see, what is this? I've collected all the basic components to start the communication tower. My main goal is to let the people of the Prolus colony know what happened. I've had a fire going on these last days to signal to anyone still alive. Maybe they're on other islands. Oh, let's see, what is this here? I've scavenged most parts of the ship from this island, but I haven't found any bodies. I know that they're all dead, yet there isn't a single corpse. Where are they? I thought the module Amon and Fred came in were down intact too. So someone is stealing the bodies and using them for probably sexual stuff. I mean, it's it's obvious. It's obvious. There's nothing else that they could do with the bodies except for maybe use them as uh, harvesting stuff. They can maybe harvest uh, stuff from bodies. Of course, it wasn't going to be that easy. Tried sending a basic emergency message, but the signal was too weak. I jumped the gun. Need to find better, proper parts so that I can boost the signal and find a way to make more sophisticated messages. So he was trying to use the equipment from the ship to create... Wait, is this... Is this opened? It's, em it's empty. So he tried to use parts of the ship to send messages to others, but there's nobody alive, so... I mean, he has nobody to send the messages to. At least that's how I understand it. A flashlight? Oh, look at this. It's nice. I like the flashlight. It brings me joy to my body. Okay, let's read these things. Only fitting that a narcissist would die alone. Last thoughts are with you. Sorry I left the... Sorry I left 15 years... What the... Sto slow down. The trauma of living, I regret it all. I regret not being able to spend my final moments with you. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Ah, some romantic bullshit. One can't stop looking at one's wounds, human condition, fascination with the morbid. True, but the smell is something no one could possibly ignore. I never knew an injury could produce such a stench. If only I had meds. Oh, so... What, what happened to him? I don't see any injuries on him. But apparently some some part of his body went to shit. Maybe his uh, nose. Maybe his nose, probably. What about this? Harder and harder to stay awake. Wounds truly beginning to take their toll. Stomach infection especially. Only hope now is to keep waiting in hope someone will find this journal. Calm down. Shut up. Shut up. I'm trying to read. Trying to prolong my life in ink. Thank God for invulnerable paper. Ha. Huh, interesting. So I guess we can continue. There's nothing left here, even though I should probably check. So my calories and water, I should probably eat something before I go. So how much food do I have? I don't really have any food. I do have water. I have some stone. I have a medipack. So I'm going to go ahead and drink this water here. Calories are good. Thank you very much. It's kind of nice. Wait, I have an empty can. Oh, you stupid bastard. Empty can. No, not that. Not that. Pick it up, thank you. Uh, is there maybe more food? I would like to get more food, not just one can. This can is empty, 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 but it should be enough. Oh, there's more stuff. I swear I saw a light at a distant island. I rubbed my eyes red, trying to see something was there. I tried to signal back, making reflections with a metal shard, but nothing happened. Maybe it was my imagination, so something is happening on that island. It has to be real, keep seeing it. Light on the other island, but even if they or it saw my signal, they might not have understood or had any method of signaling back. Funny, this diary has truly become my confidant. Who'd have thought it? Yeah, interesting. Energy food. Nice. I'm gonna take the energy food. Let's carry on. Finally! Onwards to glory. Oh wait, I'm kind of freezing, so I should probably get the torch out. <laughs> Whoops. I keep forgetting. Oh, we have something here. Lost Artifacts, Crossroads of Disobedience. Thank you very much. Crossroads of Disobedience, that kind of reminds me of my sister. She's very disobedient as well. More Duro's Mushrooms all over the place. A lot of stuff from other games is in this game, which is very, very nice. Oh, we have this, Resistance Buffs, Dehydration and Heat Stroke. 100%, thank you very much. That is wonderful, let's see. 
This looks kind of like snow. Yeah, this is probably snow. I hope that I'm gonna be fine. The temperature is kind of shit. Gotta be, gotta be very, very careful not to get wrecked by the evil. Oh, look at the Stonehenge over there. Probably something useful there, but we're not gonna go there because going there implies something uh, not safe, and we need safety, especially on this weird planet full of nothing. Oh. Speak up, bitch, I can't hear you. I, I don't know, man. Survive. The Polish colony fleet is still stationary near Pluto. We can't last long like this. Can anyone hear me? Subtitles are partial. Right, so... Can I do that again? But it doesn't really matter, so we have look for Yuri's next marker, build a communication tower and phone home. Oh, look at this, farms. Maybe houses. And this is definitely a crypt of some sort. This poor bastard died here. He was probably waiting to take a shit, and the shit never came, and he died. Unfortunate. Oh, what do we have here? We saw Adarzum, the Great Sky One, and two of his brothers, Amar Umar, speaking with Utuku standing tall above him. Then they mounted their great round bird and left. I have never seen the brothers eat or sleep. Oh, it would be very nice if... if we wouldn't need to eat or sleep. Oh man, life would be so much easier if we didn't need to eat or sleep. Imagine that. 24 hours a day. Oh, what is this? A statue of a... This is... <laughs> Yo, man, their face is kind of weird. This is not a proper animal. It has a tail. So it kind of looks like a dog. Yeah, like a very fat, round dog. A rideable, a rideable dog. And his face is something that reminds me of uh, uh, something very evil that eats babies. So it's, it's a nice thing, but uh, no thanks. Definitely no thanks. Maybe some other time. I don't uh, really like baby eaters too much because they interfere with my plans for babies. What do we have here? Can I enter? No, don't. Fucking balls. Shit. Okay, my health is back to normal. So can I open this? Am I stuck? I'm not stuck, but I can't really open this. So I gotta go back up. See, I fell down. Unfortunate, but it sometimes happens. Gotta be... Gotta be more careful in the future. And not jump into things randomly, like a stupid idiot. Where the hell is the entrance? For crying out loud. Oh! Up here! Ah, silly bastard. More statues. So this is a... Ah! Ah! Robert's brother. Pregnant brother. Yes, definitely. I think I'm getting too hot. Probably getting too hot. So I should probably find shelter pretty soon. What do we have here? Some kind of a nice place. I like this place. It seems modern and useful. So we can continue. What do we have here? Oh, another machinery device. Good thing I have the sword. So I can use the machine. What did that do? Did that do something? Probably opened that door. You know, that, that hatch from below. I'm not really sure, but uh, it might be. And something is happening over here. Oh, I found a backpack! Nice! Plus two inventory. That is very good news. There we go, fresh water. Thank you very much. I mean, it doesn't really seem fresh, since there's a dead body inside. Seems kind of weird that this is fresh water. It more, more looks more like a 
Like a very, very nasty water full of shit and piss and deadly babies. Which is not good. It's, it's never good. Hammer part. Lacks a handle. Use with a pipe. Oh, that's a hammer. That That is actually quite useful. We're gonna take the hammer and hopefully find something useful for it. I need a pipe. As soon as I find the pipe, everything is gonna be fine. Build an improvised transmitter to reach the relay satellite and humanity. Can put this. Electronics. Is that it? Explore. I guess that is it. I can't really do anything else in this place. Oh, another part. Tower part, thank you very much. And over here we have another tower part. So we're gonna put all of the parts inside. So we gotta find 17 parts to put in this thing. We got a few, but more is necessary. See, 4 out of 17. What do you have here? Something from someone. While we were chatting about champagne, Lars and Amon were smiling and chiming in. Joachim insisted they were hiding something and that we should go on treasure hunt. Had to stop him quickly before he could convince KC. Ah, some more useless bullshit from their history. Which is quite useless. I mean, I don't really give a shit what they were doing before. So where the hell am I supposed to go? Oh man, this really looks pretty. This really looks... Oh, another part is over there. You know, I like this. I like this style where the trees are red and the, the leaves are red. Everything is reddish. It reminds of a, of a functional Mars. You know, Mars, but a functional Mars. Mars that could be livable on. Livable on. Is that... Does that make sense? Can you say that? I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know. Oh, there are transcripts here. I, Utuku, the first of the enlightened, witnessed his divine power. The sky once bless us with safety and life. Sure, sure thing, bro. There you go, 7 out of 17 tower parts, and now we're gonna go back down. And go explore the caves further. But wait, I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna save again and prepare myself. Make sure that my body is ready, <laughs> literally. The body is ready. And then, shall go explore. Further exploration into the wilderness to reach glory and find everything that we need to find to properly deliver the message to the humanity that is probably dead and doesn't exist. But we shall try anyway. Here we go. I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna thank you for watching, my dear beautiful bastards. Hope you're enjoying the Solus project. It is quite interesting. I like it very much. I like this game. It's very likable. So thanks once again. I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petardia eternally touch your back. Thank you.